Hi everyone, welcome to week 17 of our 2018 Home Organizing Challenge. This week we are wrapping up our month of paper. I am so proud of you guys. I love all of the updates. Um, I just love to see when you know people start to take control over their homes and the paper monster that's been taking over their lives. So this week, really it's not a big action week unless you're still following up on some things that you know maybe were lagging a little bit the last few weeks so if you've got some catch up to do this is the week that you want to do it um, it's kind of a buffer week uh, but this week i really wanted to share some tips with you on maintaining all of this paper organization that you've been working on for the past few weeks uh, because i just don't want to see it slip and slide all the way um, you know and then everything starts to pile back up again um, now I am here to tell you, you know, we're all human and that's going to happen. Even those of us with the best paper system that we know works for us, um, you know, life happens, days get a little bit hectic or a lot hectic, um, and you know, things happen throughout life that we get a little bit derailed. The important thing with paper maintenance is that you keep the system in place and you trust the system because you know that you just created it and it's going to work for you. Um, you've got to give it some time and you've got to keep it in place because when you start to get derailed and life takes off and you know you have a weekend where you're not home at all you come back home on Sunday night and you look around and you think what am I gonna do with all of this stuff you've got to have the system in place to help you get through it um, so I want to share a couple tips with you on you know making sure that you can stay on top of your system um, and really stay focused you know long term on all of the work that you've done over the past month so my first tip when you know we're talking about paper maintenance is always schedule time to go through this inbox so now you've got a dedicated place to put all of the papers they're no longer piling up on every surface which is amazing but i will tell you if you don't schedule time for yourself to go through your pile will just keep getting bigger and bigger it will start to cascade um, and then you know you might just say oh well it's already there let me just keep piling on so I want you to schedule some time. If you can't do it, you know, every other day, at least schedule it once a day. I'm sorry, once a, once a week. So maybe, you know, Sunday night is the best time for you. Maybe Sunday morning, maybe Monday. You know, it, it just depends on your schedule and your family. So find a time that works best for you. And I will say, if it, you're only doing paper once a week, you would need to probably schedule yourself um, you know, a good half hour because that's gonna give you enough time to go through this inbox and to separate things out into your action categories. And that's going to let you know, okay, this is what I need to do this week. These are the things that need to be followed up on. This is my filing that I need to do. These are the bills that need to be paid. You know, Whatever it is that you have separated out into your action folders. All right, now my second, in addition to scheduling yourself time to go through this, is to schedule yourself time for the filing because that tends to be the one that you know piles up the most is we've gone through it we've processed the paper we've you know made sure that all the information is where we need it now we just need to file it and sometimes the filing just you know has a backlog so schedule yourself some time you know and the filing doesn't necessarily have to be done once a week it's ideal um, you could stretch it out to once every other week but make sure you're giving yourself that dedicated focused time to do it all right and now my biggest rule when it comes to paper is just say no uh, you know I notice it all the time I notice it while we're out um, in the community I notice it with my children you know we're bringing home so many different papers um, you know when we go to an event and there's someone there handing out paper I'm trying to train the kids you know to just say oh no thank you because it's okay it's okay to not take the same booklet that you've gotten you know 15 different times or if it's a book booklet or a flyer that you really don't think you're going to go to that um, event you know hold it look at it when they're standing there and then just say oh you know what we've got plans that weekend or something and hand it back to them we are so accustomed to just taking every single piece of paper that's handed to us um, and then what do you do with it when you come when you come home uh, so you know get into the habit of saying no and be polite about it um, but you know train yourself and your family and your children 
that you don't have to take every single piece of paper that someone is offering. All right, so those are just some tips to help you with long-term maintenance, but you've gotta have, again, that scheduled time to go through everything, and you've gotta start changing your habits on bringing the paper into the house. Um, that obviously is the number one way to control paper clutter is to just not even bring it inside. All right, so you guys have a great week. Follow up and you know get caught up in any of that stuff that's still lagging because we are moving along next week into another area of the home. Have a great week, everyone. Leave any questions or comments, and I'm so happy and excited for you. Bye-bye.